Hi, my name is Daryl Baskin. I'm a retina specialist in San Antonio. I wanted to take a few moments to go over some basic eye anatomy. So, the front of the eye is called the cornea, as depicted here by this clear windshield. Um, just behind that is the iris. Between those two structures is a small space called the anterior chamber. It's filled with aqueous humor. Behind the iris is the lens. So when someone has LASIK or PRK, that's a reshaping of the corneal surface. When someone has cataract surgery, that is a removal of this lens and a placement of another lens uh, in, within the capsule. Behind the lens is uh, the vitreous cavity, which is filled with a gel-like substance called vitreous. I think of it like a jello-filled water balloon that's firmly adherent to this surface around the lens and still somewhat firmly attached to the optic nerve at the back of the eye. Over time, and then usually when someone's in their 50s or 60s, that gel can collapse, and that can lead to some other problems, such as a macular hole, or vitreomacular traction, or retinal tear. Those are topics we can tackle at another point. Um, light comes into the eye this way, traverses, the cornea and the lens gets focused onto the retina. The retina is a 10 layer structure, maybe eight layers, depending on how you, how you want to count it. Once the photoreceptors, the cones and the rods are stimulated by light, that signal then goes back uh, through the retina to the optic nerve, which is, can be seen here, and then that signal is, an electrical signal is sent to the brain uh, where it's visualized. Um, just a couple more things to note, particular to the retina. You can see some blood vessels depicted here, retinal veins, retinal arteries. Those supply about half of the retina, maybe two-thirds of the inner retina. Those maybe we'll say six or seven layers out of the ten. The outer one to two layers are supplied by the choroid, which is a blood supply you might be able to see uh, embedded in the eye wall here. This is pretty important because there are certain diseases that, that we take care of that are specific to retinal blood vessels, some that are specific to the choroid, and when someone has a retinal detachment, the retina is actually separated from part of its blood supply, the choroid, and it starts to die slowly, which is one of the reasons why getting a retinal detachment fixed in a timely fashion is very important. So that's some basic eye anatomy. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for your time.